Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Atlanta Grill Company. Today we're going to start a project and make some homemade Canadian bacon from scratch using a pork loin. So let's get started. To get our Canadian bacon project started, the first thing I need to do is make my curing brine. And we're going to make a gallon of brine because I feel that's about what I need to cover this piece of pork loin completely in the brine. So what I've done here to start this process, I've got two quarts of water in a saucepan that I've brought to a simmer. And we're going to add the first three ingredients here. And I'm going to give you the amounts of all these ingredients in the video description. But we have... Uh, the pink curing salt which I use here which is prog powder number one I've got regular diamond crystal kosher salt and I've got some regular table sugar so what I want to do is just stir that until I get all of those dissolved and once I have that dissolved what I'm gonna do next is add my aromatics and this is where you can get creative uh, and do whatever you want to do with this. I'm going to turn the heat back a little bit. I've got about a tablespoon or so, maybe two teaspoons of black peppercorns. And I've got maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And I've got maybe a tablespoon here of coriander seed. And I'm going to put two sprigs a fresh rosemary into that and I'm just gonna let that steep there for just a minute with the heat on and the next thing I'm gonna do I think I'm actually gonna put a dash of a uh, hot sauce in here also maybe maybe a teaspoon and I'm using uh, the Tabasco Chipotle I don't want to overpower this with hot sauce so at this point I'm just going to turn the heat off and I'm going to put the lid on that and we're going to let that steep there for about an hour. Now that I've let that steep for about an hour, it's still hot. I'm going to dump the contents of that saucepan into my briner bucket and I'm also going to add two quarts of cold water to give us a total of a gallon. I've had this water chilling in the refrigerator for a day getting it nice and cold so what we have to do now is put the lid on that and we're going to put that back in the refrigerator until it's completely chilled okay i've got my brine chilled and i've taken my pork loin here and tied it up where i've got more of a tube shape and i've got like i said three pounds here i'm just going to use my uh probe thermometer here to run down through here and I'm just going to poke holes along the axis about every inch or so just to help with the curing process that'll help get the brine and cure in there better so now what we're going to do is I'm going to drop this guy into the briner bucket and I'm going to put my top on there to keep that submerged I'm gonna put the lid on it and this is gonna go back into the refrigerator where it's gonna cure for seven days okay we're ready to smoke our Canadian bacon so I'm gonna set my grill up here a little differently I'm gonna get some charcoal lit I'm using the Kamado Joe charcoal basket with the firebox divider and I'm just gonna have charcoal on the back half there and I'm gonna use my grill grates in a little different position so I'm going to set the first one on the middle rack there I'm going to set the second one on the top rack and then I'm just going to slide a heat deflector in here and we'll just cook on the back half of the grill today and I'm going to use the fireboard to run this grill at about 225 degrees and that way if I need to add any charcoal I can or if I want to add a smoke chunk I can so I'm gonna engage the fireboard and bring this thing up to about 225 or so after I've let this burn for about 10 minutes 
Okay, I've changed gears here just a little bit. I've decided to cook this at 300 degrees instead of 225. And here's our pork loin that we had tied up in the brine. I've taken it out of the brine. I've just rinsed off the outside of it and dried it off. And since my grill's up to temperature, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And I'm going to set a chunk of peach wood on here to give us a little smoke. And I'm going to set our pork loin right up here. And I'm going to put a temperature probe in there because we're going to cook that to an internal temperature of about 140 degrees before we take it off. We've been going a little over an hour now and uh, this thing's looking real good. It's not quite ready yet. It's uh, up to about 120 degrees internally. And like I said, I'm going to probably take this to about 135 maybe 140 we'll be back we've been going about an hour and a half now and this guy's up to temperature it's ready so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off the grill I'm gonna wrap it in aluminum foil and I'm gonna let it rest for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to completely chill it before we uh, slice this guy open Okay, I've given this thing plenty of time to chill. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the truss ties off that I put on there. And then we'll just slice this guy right down the middle and have a look. Just take a look at that. Guys, that's absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of things you can do with Canadian bacon. And one of my favorite things, obviously, is an English muffin with Canadian bacon. A poached egg and a little hollandaise sauce, which is uh, more affectionately known as Eggs Benedict. So, guys, give this a try. Let me know what you think. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Atlanta Grill Company. Yeah.